Hey guys, Mike here from Moto Mule. Ethan and I are back in the shop working on the golf cart. We're gonna try to wrap up all the structural parts of this uh, tubing frame. I gotta get all that stuff kind of nailed down so I can strip this thing apart and finish welding everything. Because like I mentioned before, at this point, everything's just tacked together. Okay, one of the other things I wanted to accomplish was to add a, a bar going forward to give extra support and strength to this roll cage and offer a little bit of side impact uh, protection. I, I like how open and easy this thing is to get in and out of, but uh, I see too many times where people get T-boned and if you don't have any protection on the side, you regret it. So, I just want to put something in, you know, the strongest thing would be just a straight tube from here to that joint, but I think what I want to do is, uh, I'll have it come out a little higher, bend to come down, and then I'll add a tube in here to strengthen it. one of these braces slash side impact protection bars. Uh, let's see how big of a challenge it is to get in it. <laughs> Obviously have to do the steering wheel. Actually, it isn't that bad. I don't feel like I would, you know, once you're belted in, you're not going to be up against it hitting it. And it'll give you that little added extra feeling of security for sure. I think that'll work. So I put this tube in and put a bend in it mostly to just increase the side protection height. Obviously that bend in there robs most of the strength out of that tube as a support for the roll cage. So I need to put a tube in here and bring it back to this junction to get the triangle back and get the most strength out of this tube.
biggest things we need to complete on this frame is underneath this uh, plastic hood. Right now, this part of the cage isn't tied to the floor pan at all other than one leg here. And this bumper is just supported on the bottom. None of it's tied together. So I wanna pull this piece off and tie the frame to the bumper. And then one other thing that is really important is my suspension is shot. All the force of the front suspension is pushing up right here. And this is welded to a tube that's cantilevered off of this. So after I get some structure from the cage to the bumper through underneath, I wanna add a, a tube that goes from here down to give this some more support. All right, start taking this off. My goal here is to create a tube that comes from the bumper across this upright in the firewall and to go through the dash and connect to the cage. Uh, so basically I need a straight tube with about a 45 degree bend on the end of it. So I'm just going to take this long tube, put a 90 degree bend in it, cut it in the middle of the bend, and then I should have two pieces to do one on each side. Well, I screwed up. Uh, I needed more than 45 degrees. I needed, oh, probably a good 60 or 70 degrees. So I made a 90, cut it in half, 245. So I have two bad parts. I'll just start again from scratch. Okay, so I bent up another tube, this time leaving more on there so I can just trim it off where I need. Okay, so we'll just uh, kind of place this in here. Okay, so we uh, did quite a bit of fab work today. We uh, finished up the front portion of this frame. So now this bumper is indeed tied into the cage and we put in a, a gut, you know, a tube here to strengthen this so it's no longer the shock against this can lever tube. So we kind of tied all that together, boxed it up. Like I said, we tied in the bumper. We uh, added in some kind of side protection and uh, this will also give a lot more strength for this roll bar back here and then we put in some little gussets to strengthen those bends and kind of give you something to hang on to to get in and out of it all in all I think we got a lot done today
What do you think, Ethan? Looks good. All right. All right. Until next time. Thank you.